All right, all right, all right, it's a fixed time. All right, let's do this. The tutorial requires intermediate skills, and depending on how advanced you want to make that headpiece and chest piece, we are looking at about four hours of prep time. Then you'll have about two hours to put everything together on your body. We spend a moderate amount of money on the wig, the fishy looking contacts, and a few bags of seashells. But hey, it's an amazing look, so it's worth it. Starting off with the concept of the tentacles, and the base for those is, of course, aluminium foil. We wrinkle it up, squeeze, push, and adjust until we have the tentacle shapes we want. Three coming out of the eyes, and two for the chest. Now let's switch our focus to the barnacles, and to create them we are using air drying clay. You can probably use any kind of clay you get your hands on. Now roll it up, make a tiny little dome, and take a tiny tiny spatula or the tip of a knife and scoop out that top part, just like that, go in, scratch that out, and then we go in and create these perforated edges all around that barnacle, just like that. And again, you can make them any size you want, we made various sizes and a few of them. Now switching our focus to the starfish, and again we're using aluminium foil here to create those starfish arms. This is a pretty rough construction, and we put one extra layer there to soften it up a little bit, but it doesn't have to be neat because we're gonna wrap this up with electrical tape. There, push it onto your chest, make sure it's gonna be sitting there firmly later, so you need a nice fit, and you can always trim off that bottom there to make it more flat, to get more surface to attach it with later. That looks about right. Now, bring out the electrical tape. Doesn't have to be white, but since we're gonna paint this, we thought white was a good choice. Simply wrap the whole thing up, and to give the starfish a much smoother surface to paint on, we go over it with either glue or a lacquer or varnish, whatever you have access to. This is basic hobby glue. Boom, we jump away again, going back to those Ursula tentacles, and we are gonna need some Cheerios because they will become the suction cups of those tentacles. So again, we use that hobby glue all over that tentacle and you see Ellie has thrown in a wire there straight into the aluminium foil just so that she can hold it properly when doing this. And then simply attach those little Cheerios to that glue. And of course, the suction cups only go on one side of the tentacles. Then we leave them to dry and head on. Jumping to headpiece creation, we're doing this uh, tutorial part pretty brief because you probably won't have the exact things we do. The whole concept at least is to get a headband and simply start decorating it with whatever sea related things you have at home or you can get your hands on. Like an oyster shell here for example, various kinds of seashells and of course pearls is a nice addition. A word of advice, of course, if you put on too much of these shells and stuff on that headband, it's gonna be quite heavy. So bear that in mind if you're planning to wear this at a Halloween party all night. You don't want it to be too heavy. In our case, since we're using the wig as well, it takes off a little bit of that load. That headpiece took a while to create, so let's check back with our tentacles. Yep, and those tentacles are now dry enough to give them an extra coat of that hobby glue to give them a nice unified texture. It's gonna be a lot easier for paint to stick on them. After this brief visit to the tentacles, we leave them to dry and switch our attention to the prosthetics that we're gonna use to attach them. That of course includes latex paste, which is liquid latex mixed with flour. Mix it well until you get a gooey mess like this. If you do have a face cast, we suggest you use it to get a perfect fit for your eye. Otherwise, use anything face shape that you can get your hands on. Smooth out those edges, just like that. Make sure you have a big chunk there over the eye, so we're gonna sink our tentacles straight into that gooey mess. Speaking of which, there are the dried up tentacles, and we simply push them down into the latex paste. And to make sure they really stick, we need to scoop up some of the paste there onto the edges of the actual tentacles at the base there. Then they will stick for sure. And depending on the size of your tentacles, you might need to prop them up during the drying process. We left it to dry overnight. For the tentacles on our chest, we are doing the same exact thing once more, but this time on a flat surface. 
And make sure you kind of, yeah, fade that latex out to a big area like this so it gets a lot of surface to be attached with. There we go, that's one. And now we're gonna do the one that's coming out and going in again. So we need two patches of that latex. Sink it in there. Yep, and leave it to dry. Nothing is more boring than watching stuff dry up, so we head to Ukraine and Kalina. Now, this is an artist you just have to go check out. So much inspiration, so much beautiful work. Go follow her and give her some love. Now, back at the table with the chest piece. And again, this is up to you what you put on it. We are using uh, sort of a fishing net, a little bit of jewelry, and the same elements we used on the head piece. If you don't have hot glue here like Ellie does, use whatever glue you can get access to. And for that extra Ursula vibe, we throw in a little bit of purple spray paint on the whole thing. And hey, since this is the next day, our tentacles might be ready. Yes, they are. Let's take them off. And we first coat the whole thing with powder or flour there to make sure the latex doesn't stick to itself. It's a bit on dry here, but that's okay. Just coat it with that flour and you're good to go. Peel it off, trim any edges if you like, and then you're ready to paint them. And we are using that same purple spray color here to get the Ursula tentacle colors in place. And you can of course use any kind of paint to get that on there. We are using hairspray color because it's pretty safe. And it's also very quick. And as you see, we only paint the sides and the bottom parts because we want another color there under those suction cups. And there it is, a pink coral kind of tone. So we spray that on there, just in the areas where our suction cups are. And then we use a white color, and dab gently onto the top of those suction cups. And since we use that hairspray color, it kind of tends to rub off on stuff. So we set it with a normal hairspray, kind of seals it in there. With that achievement, you probably feel like a star. And speaking of those, we have a starfish to paint. Again, using the hairspray color, we go over it with a mix of red and orange. Getting some red in there at the base of those arms. And for additional details, we bring out a template just like this. Pretty much anything with little holes in it. Spray yellow on top of that, remove it, and nah, not intense enough. So let's go in with a little white as well. That's better. A few extra details of your choice. Leave everything to dry. Then it's application time. Hello. The contacts are in. The wig is on. Nice chest piece. Awesome head piece. All right. Let's stop this fashion show and head on with the makeup. And not surprisingly, we start off with a foundation. I'm gonna look da bomb as a mermaid in Swedish is... Jag kommer att se överfett ut som sköljungfru. Foundation in place, set it with a little bit of translucent powder. With an angled brush and a dark brown tone, we then continue and paint in the eyebrows. And then a slight cleanup operation there to make those lines sharp. Then on the upper lid and along the crease, we go for a light brown tone. And this will be the base. So then we are gonna mix in a nice shade of pink. Fade it out towards the outer edge and then add a little bit on the lower lid as well. Next layer will be that pinkish hue and we go for that pretty much the same way. Fading it out towards the outer edge and applying it on the lower lash as well. And to put some sparkle on that beauty eye, we add a little bit of a shimmering pink on the lid itself. And then we apply the false lashes.
And to bring out and intensify the shape of our face and body, we're gonna use three different colors. Starting off with this deep brown tone, using it to bring out both our cheekbones, thin off our nose and chin, and also use it to bring out the shape of our neck, our collarbones and the boobs, if you happen to have a pair of those. To bring out the color bones, find that bone and gently fade color downwards from the edge of that color bone. Cannot have shadows without light, so bring in some highlight there above all our shaded areas. Before we intensify that shading with blue and a darker black, we go in with a little bit of pink and bring out some color on that cheekbone. And to bring some of that under the sea look, we bring in blue tones. Yeah. Using a large brush, applying it basically onto that brown tone to give it a deep blue hue. But we do go a bit more brutal with it on our chin and along the jawline, as you'll see shortly. What's the coolest possible mashup you can imagine? Tell us in the comments and we just might create the creature for you. We also let that blue color flow out to the shoulders. The third and last layer will bring out these shapes even more, going with a deep black tone. Even though this turned out to be quite a beautiful Ariel in the end, we still want to bring in some of that horror aspect of it to darken down this and give it a more raw look. Using the black. And as you see on the color bones here, we use a slightly smaller brush to bring in a little bit more edge to that shading. And as we have been doing a lot in the latest videos, we are gonna use hairspray color to gently get some spatter pattern on there to get a nice skin texture. And if you don't have the spray paint, use a toothbrush and some wet water color to flick that paint on there. Then we reuse our template here with that yellow hairspray color to bring out some fishy elements to the skin as well. But now it's time for the real artillery. Boom, there is our awesome tentacle prosthetic. Do a little match up there, see if it fits. Trim off any excess edges if you need, and then gently apply that liquid latex or skin adhesive. And make sure you don't get it in your brow. You can always protect it with a little bit of Vaseline, of course. Keep that eye closed because those latex fumes are pretty intense. Apply a little bit on the prosthetic as well, and put it in place. And to give it some extra hold and a bit of transition between prosthetic and skin, we go over all the edges with additional latex. The classic speed drying method here is of course to use a blow dryer. That shortens your application time a little bit. Apply the other tentacles anywhere you see fit. This one is nice right there. We also use that little bra strap to keep it down. And of course, the same process there with additional latex around all the edges. And to take away the attention from all those edges, we go in with a brown uh, eyeshadow, or in this case, a uh, hairspray paint in brown along the base there of all the tentacles and in the face as well. 
And we had extra fishing nets, so why not apply that as well? Give it a nice under the sea total look. You can actually use fishnet stockings if you have them available. Doesn't have to be a real fishing net, of course. Do you remember all those little barnacles that we created way back in the beginning of the video? It's time they get a nice little coloring scheme as well, using that brown hairspray color again. Then we apply them with a skin adhesive. Usually they appear in little clusters, so make sure you apply them one, two or three at a time in the same place. Closing in on the finish line, we go for some detailing work and we begin with that shimmering highlight that goes into all the areas of highlight that we applied before. So that's our cheekbone, our chin, the ribs, the boobs, anywhere you want that fish scaly like shimmer. We also go in and deepen the color there on the base of those tentacles. We will of course add additional blood later on, but first, lips. Since we didn't have an exact match for our eyeshadow, we went to mix this little bright pink with a little bit of a darker tone there with this cream lipstick. Blood time. And we mainly apply it in the areas where those tentacles have penetrated the skin. It's coming out from within. And hey, don't forget that little starfish, we want that as well. We apply it with latex either to that bra strap or to your skin. And then we blend it in with a little bit of a brown touch there with that hairspray. You can of course use any kind of brown tones you got of eyeshadow as well. Tiny decorations of barnacles on that starfish. And then you're actually done, ready to go deep down under the sea with your little treasure. An awesome look for that Halloween party, if you ask us, this came out insanely good. Yeah, we really love this look. And hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends on the internet, comment and let us know what you think about it. And hey, I don't want to spoil stuff for you, but we have a weird look in Snow White coming. But after our next video, you might just be a little bit penny wiser. So don't miss it. <laughs> See you soon. We love you. Bye.